leave the gym after a good workout, I think the word that comes to mind for me that I feel is tough. <laughs> I feel tough. I feel like I can handle, I can handle my stuff. I can handle my, my life. I, I feel like I'm in control. You never know what you're physically, mentally, and emotionally capable of until you live it. And the only way you can live it is if you do it. There were times where I'm like, should I, should I, should I do this? And doing it, I had no regrets. But I had so much regrets from not doing it sooner. So I lived with that constant, okay, all these things that I wanna do in this life, I need to just go for it because I'm never gonna regret doing it. Never gonna regret taking the chance. Uh, I might make a fool of, of, of myself, but at this point, I'm not living for anybody but myself right now, and I don't see it as foolish if you do what you wanna do. I need to be left alone. <laughs> I just love that headspace. Like you put your headphones on and you just tune out and just do your own thing and get your head right. I think with each session, with each time I'm in the gym, I just, I just love to be in the gym so much. Like, I don't really think of the future. I, I think of goals, of course, but I also think this is my outlet. Whatever I face with work, with home life, with relationships, friendships, whatever, like that is my outlet and that's my me time. It's like getting my nails done or getting a massage. Like going to the gym is my time. And so sometimes I don't want to talk the whole workout. I want to get my head right, get my heart pumping and fuel my muscles and really feel accomplished in that day because it's the only thing I can control in my life. respiratory therapist at Children's in Dallas. So I work 12-hour uh, shifts, and um, so it's, there needs to be a lot of discipline with what I do as far as lifting and working out and eating right, but um, I love that. I love structure in my life, and that's how I, that's my drive, that's how I live. I think I just find motivation and why I do what I do. When I wake up at 4.30 in the morning to work out before work, my motivation is that I set myself a goal and I do what I say I'm gonna do. And that's just who I am as a person. And if I say I'm gonna wake up at 4.30, I wake up at 4.30. I set goals and I, I try to accomplish them as much as I can. There is no going back from that. When I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. When I, when I became a lot more uh, grounded with my workouts and with my eating and everything else, I saw so much results and progress from that that I, there was no going back. Um, so, I needed something to push me to go at a deeper and stronger level than where I've been. I'm so driven right now is the older I get the more I want to do things in this life that I might regret later um, I, I think that's with every person when they get older they just start feeling like this is the time to do or regret later and I'm gonna do it while I'm young while I'm able while I have a physical body that can do it now is the time to do what you want to do because five years ten years 20 years goes by and then you don't have the physical capability to do what you wanted to do now. So that's why I do what I do now. You know, whether it's money or physical or health or whatever uh, is your excuse, you have to overcome those obstacles to get to what you want to do as far as your goal. Um, so I'm just willing to do whatever I can. If I have to work extra jobs to do a physical thing as far as competing, I will do it because I love it that much. I definitely have done things that I was uncomfortable doing. Um, the first time stepping on a stage in a competition was very uncomfortable. I had fears leading up to that. Um, I had a seven month prep. I had no idea what to expect. I, I thought I was lacking in my progress, progression. 
Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I just trusted my coach, but I still continually woke up every morning, 4.30, got my workouts in, ate right. And um, at the end of the day, I was so proud of myself for what I went through and the, the change in my habits that led to actually the lifestyle I have today. I was so proud of that that I didn't care if I won first place. I didn't care if I didn't place at all. I got as far as I did because of the de determination and the mindset that I had that I wanted to continue that mindset throughout my life. you never know what you're physically, mentally, and emotionally capable of until you live it. And the only way you can live it is if you do it. And so there are times where I'm like, should I, should I, should I do this? And doing it, I had no regrets. But I had so much regrets from not doing it sooner. Yeah, um, my personal goals is I want to get my pro card. Um, that's just something that Honestly, I never thought I was capable of until I got good feedback from judges, from my coaches, from my team. Um, and that's just because I had lack of self-esteem in that area and being encouraged and um, just uplifted in that area and making me see my worth really pushed me to want to achieve that goal. And, um, and past getting my pro card, I would love to just continue the lifestyle I have and not let that fire burn out. The best way to accomplish your goals or just get out of your comfort zone and to not have fear is to put yourself around friends that, and, and not just friends, but family and a support system and even people that are not your friends, just people that are on a higher level. Like put yourself in that situation and in that environment where you constantly have support and encouragement and something to look up to. Um, I think I wanted my pro card so bad because I was constantly seeing oh, that she's a pro, my coach is a pro, my team, look at the team that I have that are pros. Like, I put myself in that position to want that, that as much as they did. Um, so I do honestly believe if I didn't put myself in that position, didn't surround myself around people that were at a higher level than me, I would never have that drive. I would feel like I was good where I was, but um, you have to constantly put yourself around people that are better than you. And, and there's no shame in saying that you're, you're less or that you, you lack things or that you're weaker in areas. Um, you have to point out those flaws so that you can get better and stronger. Um, my main goal is to get my heart rate up. I wanna feel all that energy that I feel like I don't have I do have and it's deep down in me and I like to leave the gym exhausted um, and I want to know that when I go to bed at night I'm going to sleep really well so um, I just exert as much energy as I can in the beginning so I can get my heart rate up and I do a lot of HIIT training um, I do cardio last which is going to preserve most of your muscle mass um, so I usually do cardio at the end of my workout and then throughout my workout I like to keep that heart rate up which is why I don't like to talk a lot uh, I like to keep my headphones on, keep my head down. You know, I didn't want to come to the gym. Nobody usually wants to come to the gym and exert all this energy out, but once you finish it and you feel accomplished, like, it makes you feel tough because you're like, I did that. And not only did I do it, but I liked it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it makes me feel tough afterwards. <laughs>